Hello and a warm welcome. This is Mr. T. As always, it's a pleasure to have you aboard. This is a continuation on our topic, analytical geometry at grade 12. And in this specific video, we're going to be looking at how to find the radius and the center, having been given the equation of a circle. So this will be video number three of this video series. So please make sure that you have watched the previous videos. The first question reads as follows. Determine the radius and center of the following circles. Part A, you are given x squared plus y squared is equal to 49. What is important to note is that the equation that you are given is the equation of a circle which has a center at the origin. We remember from theory that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared for any circle which is centered at the origin. And also that your radius squared, the square of your radius is whatever you have on the right hand side, that 49. Therefore, I'm going to start off by calculating my radius squared, which is equal to 49. But to calculate my radius, because the question wants us to find the radius, I'm going to find the square root both sides. And in the end, I get my r to be equal to seven. Notice that your radius has to be a positive all the time. To find the center of the circle, it's a case of just stating now that the center is centered at the origin, so the coordinates are zero to zero. Pretty much simple, I think. We move on to the next one, part B. You are given the equation x minus four squared plus y squared is equal to 20. Now, with this equation, you can identify immediately by looking at that bracket that you're having here, that automatically the circle is not centered at the origin. Had it been centered at the origin, it would have been x squared. So we need to find the radius first, then I'll come to the center. It doesn't matter the order. Someone might prefer to start with the center, then they move on to the radius. But I prefer just to start with the radius. So I'm going to say my r squared is equal to 20. My radius squared is equal to 20. I'll do the same thing, find the square root both sides, you're going to get a uh, square root of 20 leading to 2 root 5 as my radius. So the radius of that circle is 2 square root 5. Now to find the center, it's a case of just stating that the center is given by the coordinates 4 is to 0. Pretty much easy. This is just basic introduction. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.